How did I get from that to this? I got landscaping. hit me why is that ballast brown they call it medium buff I've never seen no brown railroad rocks hmm well the closer it gets to starting to do the all the uh, landscaping on this thing I figured I would uh, starting to get a little picky I want rid of this brown ballast and I'm going to go to the more traditional gray but first I took this uh, dental pick and I picked through all anything that was loose on this ballast if it was loose it came off I cleaned it all up got all this extra the stuff that's down here now it's on there it ain't going nowhere if it was loose in any way it came off like down in here, I just got rid of all of it. And, did me a little experiment. I bought some, some uh, fine gray blend. And this is what I got. I'm gonna go ahead and redo the ballast. I've already got it down on this section. And, uh, you know, the only trick is, is you're going to be able to see a little bit of brown down through some of that gray. But I think for the most part, it, at least it gives the appearance of gray. And uh, then it gives me a, a point between the, the actual rocks and the brown dirt. And uh, I needed that break right there. You can't tell where the dirt was and the ballast started so that's what i want i want gray so we're gonna put some gray on there and uh, start working that so what would i do different going back they give you that stuff over there i'd get rid of that right away put gray down look at any railroad track that's all gray okay three to one some mod pod mat I got about three in there. I'm just going to swag this thing. A little bit of... There's three. Here's a... There's some one. A couple drops of dish soap. And I'm going to stir it up. I'm also, also going to use my uh, little, my fine sprayer with some alcohol and break the tension. And it also, using this my fine sprayer, it doesn't move all these little fine granules around. You can see that. It just wets it, and that alcohol will get off that track pretty, pretty quick. So I'm gonna go through and wet this thing down. I wish. I okay, let's try that. in yep soaking in really nice I 
Oop, starting to run there a little bit. You get the idea. Okay, so far so good. Got this much glued down. It only took about an hour so far. I'm gonna go after a little bit more of this. Okay, about a day, about a day and a half later, I've got uh, I've got gray ballast. Cleaned up some of the track. I think it looks better. To me, it looks better. Now I know the difference between the dirt and there, and that they don't both look the same. But uh, this is all. Still got glue on this side and drying. And uh, you know, although you can see a little of the dirt through there, it still looks better as far as I'm concerned. And I like it. We'll see how it looks here tomorrow when it dries up. Well, it's time to start uh, doing the scenery on this thing. And uh, you always start with this. YouTube. As you can tell, I'm still relegated to the garage. The shop out there is not quite uh, working out. More on that story later, but at least I have a TV in here. And you can see, looking up static grass, I found this this Mark Le, Marklin of Sweden. You know what? I like the way he does the stuff. It's just simple. Uh, you know, all these guys that Ron's trains and things, they all, you know, they, uh, they do good work, but you know, I just, I, looking through it, I was looking for something that was, I was looking for something, uh, that was simple. And, uh, to be quite honest with you, I like the, uh, the other guy that I was, messing with there earlier stand by yeah i did those luke talon homemade static grass top if you want to learn how you can do this at home keep watching this guy right here luke talon so luke talon he just the guy's an artist and uh, you know if you don't have an artistic feel I need a mechanical feel I need to do this mechanically and I don't need to do it with uh, having to have too much artistic because apparently when it comes to the scenery stuff it, it doesn't work for me real well so I watched his uh, video here on this Tufts and uh, I made some and they'll come in handy but you know what there a lot of people have just different ways of doing everything i don't think these will not come in handy i'll stick them wherever you can't go wrong with them but playing with that static grass applicator yeah it you know it, there's a learning curve it, it just doesn't the magic just doesn't happen so anyway long story short after looking up a whole bunch of youtube stuff Luke Talon, uh, yeah, he's he's got a lot of good stuff, and I'll use some of his things. I'm going to use a mixture of him and that Sweden dude. I can't really stand listening to the Sweden dude. He just, it's just, you know, I just, it's just a personal thing for me. I don't know, but uh, under Luke Talon, he <clears throat> he used, he just got a bunch of leaves from his garden and uh, run them through a blender. And then I mixed this, this stuff here. It's just, uh, it's what this other guy calls, it's called something scratch. Just basically, it's just ground scratch. And it's basically just chopped up leaves and it's got, you know, just little fibers and stuff in it. And uh, I mixed a little bit of this earth into it and the green and I mixed some, I had a whole bunch of this extra, um, medium buff and fine buff 
And what I did was this section up here. And I did it using the method that this Mark of Sweden did, and it was really, really easy. And I could protect the track too because you're dabbing the dabbing the uh, Mod Podge on there and then sprinkling the stuff on. And then you let it get hard and then you do it. It's not like you're using the spray bottle. I don't like, I'm not gonna be able to use a spray bottle. I'm not destroying this track again by spraying spray bottles and stuff uh, on here anymore. I'll do it this method and vacuum up. I can keep glue off the track and stuff. But uh, using that guy's method, I played with that a little bit last night. And I know I already had sand down here, but actually it's got some more texture to it now. And after I put down all the uh, the scat material, the then I darkened up the low areas with a little paint wash, and uh, and then that's how it ends up looking. That's kind of layer number one, and uh, I just made me a big old big old bottle of paint wash. That's uh, kind of like it looks like an olive drab kind of color, and it just darkens up the. Uh, the low areas but anyway that's what i'm going after i've take disassembled everything on this track got rid of everything and uh i'm gonna start that method and uh i'll put this let me show you this marco sweden guy first hello and welcome to another video tutorial today we're going to dive deep into the static grass yeah that's uh it's a product which has been on the market for a while i think you get what I'm talking about. He's a little hard to take, but yet this is the video I use because it actually has some really good examples of things in there. I'll put his link up here, and uh, yeah, go look at his stuff. He's got a lot. He's got 96,000 views on this one video, so apparently somebody likes him. And I think it's because his, he just simplifies kind of things a little bit, and it doesn't look terrible. Does it look the best? Eh, it's not Luke Talon, but it's uh, it looks good. And I'm going to jump forward here and I'll show you the part that I'm actually using as a model. This, uh, yeah, he's using this one meter this section. Plywood. And, the structure is and you can see the coloring how he did it. Foil. Otherwise I prepared it exactly like the sample and plates. Except I've added also a brown wash which you can see as the darker areas. And here's our prototype. It's uh, three layers of grass and leaves. I went for the Grass Glue XL. Okay, that's what I'm going to use as my guide. Yeah, this is what I'm going to use as my template for coloring. And, you know, just how he done it. Basically, what he's done is he's taken... He has taken uh, this and putting that material on there. And then he did a wash. So that's kind of what I'm doing. And the end result is and I don't know if it even shows the whole thing. You know, I don't All right. I hope you like this. I'll do this section here and show you how I did this. So uh it's not to show you how to do it, it's the if it's if this if this screws up, it'll show you what not to do. But I'll do this section right here, up to the tunnel entrance, and uh, I'll do that method to it, and uh, you know, show you how I did it. Then I'm just gonna fast forward this thing, put the video camera up, fast forward it, and I'm just gonna, the whole thing will be done in that method. Okay, here we go.